There is beauty and splendor in the centuries-old Scottish landscape, but these hills and waters also have the potential to generate more of the clean, green energy we'll need in the decades to come. Here at Corrie Glass, above Loch Lochie, there are big plans to harness the power of nature's own battery. It's an incredibly exciting project, isn't it? Very much so. Corrie Glass is the first pump storage hydro scheme to be built in the UK for over 30 years. And with large-scale long-term storage in an upper reservoir and the flexibility of hydropower, this scheme will play a crucial role in plugging the gap left by more variable energy sources, such as wind and solar power. So when there is a surplus energy generated by the renewable technologies, we'll use that energy to pump water to the upper reservoir. And then when the renewable technologies are not able to generate, when there's no wind and, and no sunshine, we'll release water from the upper reservoir. It'll generate power through the hydro scheme. So we generate power when we need it and when it can't be met by the other renewable technologies. And a study by Imperial College London, commissioned by SSE Renewables, found that just 4.5 gigawatts of new long duration pumped hydro storage, with 90 gigawatt hours of storage in the UK, could save up to 690 million pounds per year in energy system costs by 2050. Long duration pump storage is a key part of the transition to net zero. We currently have about four gigawatts of storage capacity in the UK. Uh, National Grid and their future energy scenarios have indicated that we'll need around 40 gigawatts. So we have to increase from four to 40 gigawatts. And Corrie Glass as a 1500 megawatt scheme will make a significant contribution to, to that increase and that, that capacity that's required. And there's growing consensus around the world that more development of pump storage hydropower capacity will be crucial to the clean energy transition. Malcolm Turnbull is a former Prime Minister of Australia and a co-chair of the International Forum on Pump Storage Hydropower. And he says it's got a significant role to play. You cannot affect the clean energy transition with variable renewable energy alone. You cannot get there just with solar panels and wind turbines. So you've got to be able to store the electricity when the sun is blazing and the wind is blowing so that you can use it when they're not. We've got to get on and build the pumped hydro. The US Department of Energy is co-chair of the International Forum on Pumped Storage Hydropower and sees it as part of the solution to climate change and greater investment in building pump storage hydropower will not only deliver cleaner energy, but it will also benefit the economy. There is a resurgence of interest in starting projects to add more pump storage capacity to the energy system. And of course, that means three things, jobs, jobs, and jobs. So we need to put people to work to get these projects off the ground, not just researchers and scientists, but engineers and construction workers and dam operators, maintenance workers. And the International Forum on Pump Storage Hydropower brings together governments, companies and other interested parties to find ways to de-risk investment, share innovation and advise on how development can be sustainable. All of the talent of the hydropower world has been brought together to tackle this question of how do, we in, how do we ensure that we give pumped storage the priority and the urgency that it needs to ensure we have a successful transition to a zero emission energy future. Yeah, we're delighted to be a member of the International Hydropower Association and we've, we've benefited a lot from our involvement in the forum. In particular, we're looking forward to adopting the sustainability protocols that the forum and the, and the IHA are developing and we'll adopt those protocols as we, as we progress with the Corrie Glass project. The construction here will create hundreds of new jobs and benefit both national and local supply chains. And once complete, it could more than double the existing electricity storage capacity in Great Britain. It provides a blueprint for clean energy generation and storage around the world.